Hey Derek, we're here to see your German fridge. Hey guys. Coming through my garage? That's creepy. Awesome. So you guys are here to see my German fridge? Come on in, check it out. Let's check out your gym and then head to your fridge. This is my backyard. I like to, we're in Los Angeles, so it makes sense to work out outside. It's weird to be indoors. How often do you work out? I would say at least five times a week, whether it be just like yoga, strength training, cardio. I always try to do something physical, something active on top of dancing. And of course, dancing in itself is an immense workout. But this machine right here, for me, I, I get my cardio going with. Yeah. What keeps you motivated? The idea that I think when people say like, oh, there's a shelf life for an athlete, or you know, in my case, a dancer, which is an artistic athlete, defying the odds or creating your own destiny, not sort of just falling into that habit of like, oh, I'm getting older now, I gotta, that motivates me, that, that, that keeps me motivated. What's your favorite part of the workout? When I feel like my heart is beating out of my chest, when I can like taste blood almost, it hurts, but I like the feeling of it because I know I'm working really hard. What's your least favorite? I hate doing legs. <laughs> You know, being a dancer, I don't want to be like stiff. So my sort of rationalizing not doing a lot of legs is that I want to keep these fast and nimble and quick. But my trainer makes me do them anyway, so. <laughs> do you work out with anyone else? Yeah, I work out with my girlfriend, my best friend, my brother-in-law. It's more fun when you work out with people. To push them, they push you, just to joke around. It becomes like a social activity. What does your morning routine look like? Come here, bud. Come here. Come here. Take this guy out for a pee. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the bathroom, have my green drink, take a plunge in the pool, get you know get the adrenals going, get ready, go work out. Do you eat before you work out? I don't really like eating before a workout. I feel too heavy and it sloshes around. How do you keep your mind fit? I have my daily rituals, you know, whether it be things I listen to, podcasts, YouTube video, something to sort of get my in my mind in the right set. Because I feel like that part is, is, is as important, if not more important, than the physical part, you know, and especially for men, you know, in general. Do you use any special equipment? Yeah, I use, I use a few, you know, fun little toys. Let's go check it out. So, the garage slash ping pong room. I love ping pong. This is where I keep all my recovery toys. Yeah, boom. So it doesn't look like much right now, but let me break it down. So this should be in anybody's arsenal that's, you know, an athlete or works out is Hypervolt, the bombs, the best. Work out the IT bands, the adductors. Another thing, this is great for the glute, you know, sitting on it, and it doesn't feel great. It hurts, but afterwards, it's delightful. But right now, I wanna cry. So that's that, it also vibrates. Foam roller, I've seen these, this one also vibrates. I'm into vibrating things that are good for your health. Uh, <laughs> Power Dot, it's freaking awesome, I love this so much. You put these pads anywhere on your body that's sore or hurts, you put the electrodes on them, boom. Stimulates the muscle, they're magic. Magic. That's pretty much it. It's all the, all the good stuff right there. How do you stay fit when you're on the road? Well, when I'm traveling, I'm performing, and that is as much fitness as I can fit in a day, honestly. So I don't really want to stress the muscle, I just want to activate it. I want to turn everything on, you know, keep it, get, get it mobile, and then go out and do what I do. What other types of training do you do? I like to just like go, you know, bike, get on this thing, except for it's an electric bike, so it's not a huge workout. <laughs> I like to box. I love mixed martial arts. I like to swim. I like to hike. Anything outdoors. I'm a very adventurous person. I try not to do stuff that where I can like hurt myself. Just recently on New Year's, oh, so stupid. I'm in Park City where I'm from. You know, but the mountains are beautiful snow, and everybody's like, come on, you gotta go snowboarding. Cause I can snowboard, I ski. And I'm like, no guys, I can't go this year. I got like, you know, something coming up this year big. I gotta stay healthy, gotta stay strong. I don't wanna risk it. So what do I decide to do? I decided to go to a trampoline park, <laughs> which is the worst thing you could do. And they had like an American Ninja Warrior course. And I was the only one out of 30 people that completed the course. But as I was doing this one right here, I came down and I landed weird on my foot. So I basically like sprained my foot. Luckily, it's good, I heal fast, it, it feels good, it feels strong. What are your fitness goals? I think being a competitor, you know, I used to compete in dancing around the world, and one of the things that I always struggled with was my stamina. The eighth round of a 12-hour day, and it's the final dance, and I'm like dying, and 
all your technique, all the hours of training kind of go out the window and you're just surviving. And that's a terrible feeling. It's a terrible feeling when you've worked so hard and all this technique and all these nuances, it goes all out the window when you lose that energy. So for me, it's about energy. It's about just having strength and mobility and flexibility, and, but endurance, you know, that's my main goal. Do you have any tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. I am tattooless. Any meaningful scars? Well, just recently, I got my appendix taken out. Right here, boom, and there's a scar here, and there's a scar here. 2 a.m., I woke up, I was like, babe, and I'm crawling on the floor. I don't know if anybody's had this before, but you can't, like, stand up. Yeah, she took me to the hospital, you know, had it taken out straight away. So I've been strengthening that back up, you know what I mean? Kind of that, that muscle, because of the cut into the muscle. All right, well, speaking of my appendix, uh, let's go check out my fridge. Here we are, we're here in my fridge. It's, it's a mission trying to figure out how to open this thing. And there it is. There she be, the glorious fridge where all the food and the nourishment is provided. What do you normally keep in your fridge? Lots of oat milk, love that, or almond milk. Got the celery juice. We got lots of celery for the celery juices in the morning. It seems to be a thing right now. It's popping off in LA. Alkalize and energize. Green, 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 as much as you possibly can. Avocados, I love putting avocados in my shakes, in my protein shakes. This is like the nice healthy fats. Farmer's Market, we got these nice pickles. Spicy dill, this is like a snack. I love bubbly, love sparkling water, love kombucha. A very LA looking fridge. <laughs> Let's move over to the freezer, shall we? I don't know what's in here. I don't think I've been in this freezer for a minute. And this is definitely my girlfriend's part, because I had no idea <laughs> that we had corn dogs. That's, yeah, she supplies the cheat days. <laughs> what does your diet mainly consist of? Chicken, fish, lots of vegetables, pretty boring, honestly, especially when I'm on tour. When I'm on tour, I have the same meal every single day. Quinoa, chicken, and sweet potatoes. But I just feel like the consistency is important because if I try something different and I'm on stage and I'm dancing, I'm doing a performance and also I'm like Bleh, and there's a reaction, I can't like run off stage or you know what I'm trying to say, right? You know, I don't want to mess up the system. What would we never see in your fridge? Scallops. You won't find scallops in here. My sister cooked scallops one time in my old apartment, stunk the whole place up for months and my sort of rule is like no fish in the house, like no cooking fish in the house. We're gonna cook fish, we're gonna go out to the barbecue, we can smoke it, I got a smoker out there, we can smoke the salmon. We'll crush it out there, but we're gonna do it out there, not in the house. What's your cheat meal look like? Man, I don't know. I mean, if we go in the theater room, I got popcorn, I got candy in there, all sorts of stuff. I, this, it's all about the cheat days, you know. I'm, I'm good with that. The red vines, the peanut M&Ms. I'm salivating right now as I'm saying this. But if I do that, I have to be very prepared for the next day. I have like a popcorn hangover. <sighs> My body doesn't like it. Do you cook? No, not really. I, do, I will say I've been getting into smoking. I have like a smoker outside, crank that thing on. I just love that smell of like, it smells like a campfire, you know? Do you drink coffee, alcohol? Drinks, um, I don't drink alcohol, but yeah, we, I actually I have a coffee maker in here. I got a little espresso machine. I'll put it in my shake sometimes. Have you tried any special diets? No, not really. I never really like did something like followed a plan or a system. Just use common sense, for me at least. I felt like, it was like, okay, clearly this food doesn't agree with me. I just kind of listen to my body and just kind of go with what it says. And I guess my mom instilled this sort of sense of like, we had a wheatgrass machine in our house when I was a kid. Literally had the grass, you put it in there and you grind it and it comes out. And I thought she was torturing us. I was like, yo, my mom is a psycho. <laughs> this is crazy. She's feeding us grass. Have you always been this healthy? More or less. I think as I've gotten older, I've been more mindful about how I eat. Slow down, you know, the hands of time as far as, you know, the way you feel, so. Do you take any supplements? Supplements. Check out my supplements. Yo, check out the subs. This is it right here, boom. It's pretty organized. The protein powder, chocolate flavor, my favorite flavor. Collagen, I hurt myself, sprained my ankle, tore some ligaments, and just ever since I did that, I was just going to the collagen to help that. BCAs, glutamine. In the mornings this is what I have, like this pre-workout, it's like mango flavor and this green powder, which has like a lot of vitamins in it and a lot of just green vibrance. And of course the maca powder, just to add some 
some dudeness. You know what I'm saying, fellas? You know, you already know. All right, so these are the supplements I take right here. Pretty easy, straightforward. All right, let's go check out my last workout in the garage. Time for rapid fire questions. All right, so my favorite part of my workout is ping pong. It's just something about it. The hand-eye coordination minimizes uh, injury. 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. workout? 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Squat. Favorite song on your workout playlist? Duality by Slipknot. CrossFit, yay or nay? Uh, yay? Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Dumbbells. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? Outside. Cardio or weights? Cardio. <laughs> big legs or big arms? Uh, big arms. Jacked, ripped, cut, or swole? Ripped. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Bruce Lee. Now that I've given you guys some of my secret sauce and my ping pong skills, I think it's time for you guys to get on out of here.